What's up YouTube? Dude, that's Derpy here. So, by popular request, I'm going to be doing a deck list video of the Gladiator Beast deck that I have, and I'll try to explain a little bit of the strategy behind the way that I have it built. Um, I've been testing it against decks like Six Sands and Chaos Agents, and it's actually been performing pretty well, which kind of surprised me because I thought it was a dead deck, but it's uh, it seems like it still works pretty well. So, uh, staple, three Laquaries, uh, two Darius, and those are the Beast Warrior targets um, in there for Tanky. Um, of course, Bestiari, absolute staple of the deck. Two quests because you want to be able to get that War Chariot loop off. A Retiari because being able to banish stuff from your opponent's grave whenever you feel like is pretty awesome. Um, a single Mermelo just because it's nice to be able to get around monsters that you otherwise would not be able to. Hoplamas because he's a good defense. You know, if you drew him for turn one and they didn't know what you're playing, you set him and they attack and they take usually take some damage and then you get to tag out. Um, he's a, he's more of like a nice late game or early game card. Um, Grand Mole great to get around anything that came out of the extra deck, as well as you know keep summoning him bounce one of their problematic monsters back to their hand, attack over another one with um, your glad or you know attack directly. He's just a really good card and a monster in this deck. Uh, a single test tiger, this is an ultra rare version. Um, I like it because it can get you out of situations in which you can't attack but you need to have a gladiator beast effect. Uh, not bad. Uh, I believe I have a gold rare of him as well. Um, if anyone would be interested in adding in a second one. Uh, Thunder King Ryo, really good. I know that this deck adds a lot of stuff um, from the deck to the hand because you play three Proving Ground and you play Tanky, but this card is just too good, especially this format against things like Spellbooks and Dragon Rollers to just not to not run him. So one in there. Uh, staple 3 Proving Ground you can search any Gladiator Beast monster you need. Uh, a Tanky, you can get Darius, you can get um, Laquari to your hand. Book of Moon, even if you can't attack over something you can book it and still attack into it so you can get your monsters effects. Uh, single MST um, I think this format, at least the meta decks, you're not seeing a whole lot of back row. Of course, you could side into things like Heavy Storm and maybe one or two more MST. My body is a shield. Um, I like this a little bit better than Forbidden Lance, particularly in this deck, for the fact that you need to be attacking, so you don't want your attack to go down. Um, you know, pay 1,500 life points and protect. You know, they go Torrential Tribute, they go Mirror Force, anything like that protect your plays. Uh, Econ, I particularly like this card with Darius because you know tag out, get Darius' effect, get back another um, glad beast from your your grave and then play Econ, take control of one of their monsters. It's not bad. I feel like this is an underused card. It's really only good in Gladiator Beast but Dimension Gate and I'll read it real quick. When this card is activated, target one monster you control. Banish that target face up. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can send this face up card in the field to the grave. If this card is sent to the grave, you can special summon the monster banished by this card's effect. Now here's why this card is so good and glads. Gazarus, although it does have to be properly summoned the first time, any subsequent time after that that it is summoned, it says, it, when this card is special summoned, period. So when he, he hits the field, they go bottomless or anything other than, you know, like Solemn Warning, which would actually negate his summon. Anything that could kill him, chain dimension gate. Okay, you just got a plus one off of that. Plus, whenever this goes to the grave, you get to destroy up to two more cards that they control. 
not bad not bad at all so I run two of those in here um, I use dimension gate kind of like forbidden lance because it protects my monsters and it makes them think twice about attacking into me uh, Tenson I run two of those it's basically the one that gives your beast warrior monster a 1000 attack boost and then 300 uh, you know the, the turn after that it stays on the field one teched in Icarus attack because it's good um, you've got bestiari and you've got a quest you know you tag out and they've got bottomless or they got anything that could you know particularly like banish your bestiari or banish your quest chain it okay well you just got your glides effect and you got to pop two of their cards not bad uh, deep dark track trap hole uh, I never see this card played, but I think it's pretty good. When a level 5 or higher effect monster uh, or monsters are special summoned, banish that level 5 or higher effect monster or monsters. Um, how many monsters that are level 5 that people are playing are not effect monsters? So this is like a third bottomless trap hole in a format where you can only run two bottomless trap hole. Yeah, that. Uh, one deep prison one compulse I think this deck might be a little bit better with two or three compulse in it just because this format compulse is so good uh, a tech thing called the haunted you know let's say you got bestiary in your grave or or maybe a laquari and you'd like to contact fusion for Gazaris or Heraclinos it's nice um, three wabaku so good in this deck um, you know that's three turns you are absolutely not gonna die unless they do burn damage um, and plus you can use it offensively if if they've got a monster that has the same attack as you you could attack activate it during your turn kill their monster yours doesn't die you get the tag out or wait till they declare an attack monster doesn't die uh, three war chariot it is an absolute must in this deck plus you can loop it with a quest and a solemn judgment um, so gladiator beast decks are always or at least should always be pretty trap heavy um, and then for the extra deck we've got three Gazaris, three Heraclinos, uh, a single Esadari and one Utopia um, all of those are relatively easy to get out so this is the current build I have right now I really like this build it's pretty consistent it's fun to play with um, I'm considering trading or selling it it'll just depend on what your offers are um, I think I feel like I'd have to have a pretty good offer in order for me to trade or to sell this deck because it's still fun it was the deck that I played for many, many formats. So please rate, comment, share, scrub, scribe, and stay derpy.